Roswell Flight Test Crew here today at AUVSI Exponential 2017 and I'm here with Ryan Henderson from the University of Maryland UAS Test Center and he sent me this tweet inviting me to come over to their booth and check out this aircraft which he says can fly for an hour. Now I have to admit it looks like a pretty ordinary quadcopter to me. I don't see a fuel cell. I don't see a gasoline engine. How on earth can this thing fly for an hour? Well, this aircraft is its just incredible. It had a special battery built just for it that uses a combination of lithium ion and lithium polymer chemicals to create a battery that has a very wide voltage uh, range during flight. We'll come down to the ground, make sure it's on the ground a little bit around 17 volts, but when it's fully charged, we're up right around 24 volts. So it's a very, very wide voltage range. It's a, it's a 7S battery. I don't have one with me because of traveling and the conference and everything, but it's a very strange looking battery. It's not like uh, any 7S that you've ever seen before. It's a big giant block and, um, and it plugs right into the bottom of this aircraft. It was literally designed around this aircraft. Can I get one for my DJI Phantom? Unfortunately, it's not available yet for the DJI Phantom, but uh, perhaps if you talk to UAV Solutions, they could hook you up with one of these uh, Ace V2s with your very own special top secret uh, long range battery. <laughs> now that's great, and I assume they didn't make it fly for an hour because they could, but because it pertains to the mission of this aircraft. What are you guys using it for? So we are using it primarily for research. Um, one of the benefits to having an aircraft, as many people know, endurance is like a big factor. You can get some stuff done if you're flying for five to 10 minutes, but when you have 60 minutes that's under your belt, that offers a lot of opportunity for data collection, uh, for mapping, for maybe testing radios. Perhaps you have a mesh network or relay comm that you're wanting to do. 60 minutes gives you a lot of air time to do that stuff. And the other thing that extra endurance allows you to do is have a little bit of risk mitigation because you've got the extra fuel in the tank. You don't have to stretch it any longer. You can stay up there and get what you need done. You're not worried about that low voltage and RTL because it's a necessity. It's, you're coming down because you're done with what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, so you've got this great aircraft that can fly for an hour. What sorts of missions have you used this for? Oh, one of the missions that we've used for, it's very, very exciting, is uh, radiation detection. You can, yeah, you can put a radiation sensor on these things and fly them around. There's certain situations, perhaps we remember Fukushima, big time radiation. That's not something that we would want to send a person into. It would be much better to send an unmanned aircraft into. So what other kinds of projects are you working on at the University of Maryland? Well, most recently we had a real exciting project with NOAA the GOES-R satellite, which is currently in space, launched just, uh, I believe it was in January, uh, doing high resolution uh, weather meteorology um, analysis. They need to know that what it's seeing is accurate. So we had a great big quadcopter, it's 50 pounds, outfitted with much of the same sensors that the satellite has, and we flew it in a dry lake bed southeast of Las Vegas, and we flew that mission in all different patterns and everything that they wanted to see, measuring radiation, reflectivity, several multispectral cameras on there, and they're gonna use that data to calibrate and validate what the Gozar satellite in space is seeing, and it was a great big success. We're looking forward to the next missions with uh, NOAA. Very cool. Well, all right, so two quick questions. If somebody wants to get their hands on this Phoenix Ace drone here, how do they do that? And if they want to get in touch with you guys about the work you're doing with drones, how do they get in touch with you? Okay, so the Ace V2 is manufactured by UAV Solutions. They're a Maryland company. You can go to uavsolutions.com and learn more about them and get in contact with them. If you have research uh, that you want to fly, if you have an aircraft that you're work looking for uh, airworthiness certifications or airspace analysis, you need to come to us. Uh, we're the University of Maryland UAS test site, and uh, you can search us uh, on the internet and we'll come right up. Check our website out. It's got information about our projects, our team, and what we do. Fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it from the AUVSI Exponential 2017 show in Dallas, Texas. This is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off. Not really getting enough sleep. <laughs>